Ever wondered about the people who built your house? Now, the person who hung the doors or painted the walls might not cross our minds too often. As Chris Morrison shows us, a future Habitat for Humanity homeowner will know the builders brought an extra touch to the job. You'll see volunteers hammering and putting up walls at any Habitat site. Good! Right there! But this one is a little different. This crew is made up of all women, most of them full-time builders with J.E. Dunn. I run a crew all day long, but this is actually very nice, and they get along very well, and nobody complains, and nobody whines about it. They just do it and get in there. It's really nice. Cheryl Luther is J.E. Dunn's first female superintendent and has worked on Habitat projects before. She says it can be challenging to recruit an all-female crew. Well, giving of your time, you know, you have to balance that time with children, job, and all those kind of things. This is the seventh so-called women build in Kansas City. A single father with six children will buy the house. Today was the first work day with the goal of getting the walls up. They expect to be finished around mid-January. It's an effort for women to become empowered and doing something that we consider not a typical or traditional job for women. Just about everyone says it's nice to work with a team of women, but that's not the most important thing. I'd say it's more important to help out with the habitat, but to work with all women, especially women that are strong in the construction field, is a very important thing. Good. Working together to help a deserving family have a home. Chris Morrison, NBC Action News. Find out how you can volunteer at Habitat for Humanity at NBCActionNews.com under Lifestyle.